Kingsley Ifa can do sells shoes and bags mostly imported from China. But he says sourcing dollars needed for imports is a challenge. Getting the dollar to import goods from China is really affecting us. You understand? Because um, right now things are very, very difficult. The exchange rate is very high. So it's really affecting our business because we are not making any profit in it. The profit we make there is very small. China is an import destination for many Nigerian businesses. The country is one of Nigeria's biggest trading partners. Trade between Nigeria and China surpassed $20 billion last year. Both countries are now revisiting a currency swap initiative aimed at boosting trade. The currency swap deal initially introduced in 2018 to facilitate $2.4 billion in trade struggled to take off due to an imbalance as Nigeria's imports far exceeded its exports to China. Experts suggest that for the currency swap to succeed, the Nigerian government must implement key measures including addressing the trade deficit between the two countries. We must increase our level of commitment to foreign obligations. If there is any sign that we will not be fulfilling some of the obligation under this deal, then it will collapse. So it means that the, our integrity level and commitment level must go up beyond what it is currently at. China, for one, as a country, will not want to a situation where they continue to chase us around the block to get their monies or to get us to fulfill um, you know, our own side of the deal. Because whenever there's a swap, it means that one of the parties must make do its own commitment to the other party. In May, the Nigerian government announced plans to reduce the trade deficit with China by increasing exports of agricultural products. The government aims to introduce Nigeria's top 20 products into the Chinese market within the next 14 months. But it's still a long way before businesses like Kingsley's feel the impact of these efforts. Ajak Mangut, CGTN, Abuja.